Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by the Guild. I am Tom Downey and we start things off today with the latest Cowboys rumors. First up, will Demarcus Lawrence play on the franchise tag? I'm going to give this one three stars. It does seem pretty likely. Frankly, I almost gave it four, but I guess there's a chance something crazy happens. Call it three and a half, call it 3.89, whatever. It's almost four stars. Lawrence is expected to play on the franchise tag this year. The deadline is tomorrow on Monday. Now, Tank wants $17 million a year. The Cowboys are not going to offer him that amount of money. The two sides probably aren't going to get a deal done. As a result, Tank, who knows he's another year away from getting an even bigger payday next year, is just going to play on the tag, play happily, and put in great effort and get more sacks next year. And ideally for Tank, that results in a big contract next year from the Cowboys or from somebody else. Let me know how much you guys would pay Tank per year. I think the reality is he wants $17 million. I would I would be okay giving it to him. I know that there's some risk involved there. I saw that in the comments, especially on YouTube. But for me, Tank is worthwhile because I saw what, what, what I needed to see last year out of him. If he does it twice, he's going to be even more than $17 million per year. All right, we'll stick on the defensive line here, and that is, is Randy Gregory under contract till 2020? Well, I'll give this one three stars, not quite set in stone. Even the Cowboys themselves don't know for sure how long Gregory will be under contract for, but if and when he is reinstated, that contract status is still technically unclear. Now, his years in 2016 and 17 should toll or not count, and as a result, everything gets pushed back further, so Gregory won't be a... a, a Restricted free agent until 2020, and that, of course, assumes he gets reinstated. But as you mentioned on uh, the most recent show on Thursday, that's three stars, too. It does seem pretty likely that Gregory will be back on the Cowboys in time for training camp. Applied almost two months ago. The time frame is 60 days, but as the NFL showed with Josh Gordon, that's kind of more of a suggestion, not really a mandate. It should come before camp, and the expectation is around Gregory's camp that it will be positive news and that he will be reinstated. So assuming that Gregory does come back for the Cowboys, how many sacks will he have? I've seen quite a few high guesses. I'm going to go with just like four. I know that that's not many, but he hasn't played football in quite some time, and when he was on the field for the Cowboys last he really wasn't all that effective, so I will give some expectations there for Gregory, but I'll pump the brake a little bit as well. Number three, will Malik Collins start at DT? And at number three, again, we'll stick with the threes, three stars on this one. That is the expectations for Collins with one big caveat, if he's healthy. And Collins is once again rehabbing another foot injury. Every year Collins has been in the, in the NFL, there's been some type of foot problem he's had to deal with. Now, I think he'll be good to go for the regular season, and if, if that's the case, Collins and Jihad Ward, those are your starting DTs. Now, once David Irving comes back, well, things can change a little bit. I would assume that you'll see Jihad Ward play mostly three technique early, Collins with the one technique, but I'm sure they'll shuffle them all. Both players can play both spots, but the big question is not if he'll start in week one, assuming he's healthy, it's if, it's if who starts in week five, Collins, Ward, Irving, or maybe someone I didn't mention there. All right, folks, we appreciate everyone that's already subscribed to our brand new Cowboys Report channel at chatsports.com slash Cowboys TV, where we post the full shows plus some other Cowboys coverage. We have passed that 1,000 mark. Now we're trying to get to 2,000. That is the next logical milestone there. So if you haven't already, go to chatsports.com slash Cowboys TV. It'll take you right into the subscribe page. It has all of our Cowboys coverage and only our Cowboys coverage in one spot. We'll keep it rolling now with some more rumors next up. Will the Cowboys not make the playoffs? I'll give this one too, so because people are talking about it. Bet Online published their uh, their odds to make the playoffs, and the Cowboys are not only not favored, they only have the ninth best odds in the NFC. And if, if this was the AFC, I think the Cowboys would be, and they'd probably be a top three or four odds team, I think. But in the NFC, things are a little bit more challenging. We'll show you here. The top teams, of course, the Eagles and the Vikings and the Rams and Packers of Saints have really good odds. Those are your clear-cut top five favorites. Then you've got, at least in Vegas' eyes, five teams kind of competing there. The Falcons, the Panthers, the Niners. They're your Dallas Cowboys pretty far below but ahead of the Seattle Seahawks. So I want to know from you guys, will the Cowboys make the playoffs? Give me an A for a yes or a B for a no. I Again, I mentioned this before. I think they'll go 10-6, and six, a good mark. In the AFC, it's probably a top four or five seed. But in the NFC, I'm not so sure. So I lean towards no right now because I have some doubts about the Cowboys coaching staff on offense. Garrett and Linehan, 
I think they'll make a really good push. Just like last year, they'll be right in the mix. But I don't think they're going to be a playoff team, even though I think they'll be better than what they were last year. Next up, number five, does Cole Beasley need to be more involved? Well, yeah. Four stars on this one. Michael Irvin speaking the truth and almost the obvious truth here as well. Irving says the Cowboys need to get Beasley more involved. He went from 75 catches to 36 last year. That's not okay. There are massive holes to fill with Dez and Jason Witten gone off the roster. I think Beasley is going to be one of those reliable targets for Dak Prescott. I think those re receptions jump way up. And in reality, multiple guys need to step up. Now, Irvin also mentioned Terrence Williams, which... I don't think that's going to be the case at this point. But Alan Hearns, Michael Gallup, we'll talk more about later on in the show today. Deontay Thompson, a Cedric Wilson, a Tavon Austin, who's going to play a little bit of everything for you. Noah Brown and then Dark Horse Lance Lenore. Someone's got to step up. So let me know, folks, who you think will be the Cowboys' number one wide receiver. I think in reality, in different games, there will be different leading receivers for the Cowboys based on the matchups. But I think overall, the top two guys you're going to be counting on the most are Alan Hearns and Cole Beasley. And then by the end of the year, I think Michael Gallup will be among those players. Folks, today's show is brought to you by The Guild. Visit stayguild.com, promo code CHATSPORTS for 15% off your next stay. If you're coming to Dallas for a Cowboys game, you got to stay with The Guild. They're a luxury Airbnb. Again, promo code CHATSPORTS for 15% off your stay. One final rumor for you guys today. How about a trade for Tyler Eifert? I'm only going to give it the one star. It's. I don't think it's going to happen. I'd be stunned, but I suppose it could happen. Now, blogging the boys said the Cowboys should go make a trade for Eifert, which I like that idea. When healthy, Tyler Eifert is one of the best tight ends in the NFL. The issue is Tyler Eifert is almost never, ever healthy. Now, he signed a one-year, very team-friendly deal with only a million dollars in base salary. Bengals already paid out a $3 million signing bonus, so the Cowboys would get him for super cheap. But I have a tough time seeing the Bengals moving on from Eifert unless they get a lot back. And for a one-year player that's not Earl Thomas, I don't think it makes much sense for the, for the Cowboys. I'd like it, but I don't think it's very likely just the one to start there. 